Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here today to talk about love. Yeah, love. So first, I want to preface this with first saying that I am not personally in a committed, intimate relationship because I have not found that place yet. However, you know, they say that, you know, you need to you need to know everything that you don't want so that you know can know what you do want right so but i i i do know consciousness all right so i'm coming from a place of as uh, objectivity and i will give you examples from my subjective experiences but with all this stuff going on in the world right now uh there's a lot of relationship stuff happening and i've been getting a lot of messages and emails about like, can you break down the difference between love and attachment? What is it, right? We all, I mean, I think we all get stuck in this, in this process at some point in time, because let's face it, sometimes these attachments really feel like love. They do, I know I've been there big time, right? So what is the difference? First, I'm gonna go into, this is really gonna be basically about um, intimate love, right? Now, love, if you just use the word or the or the idea or vibration of love, okay, that is that that encapsulates a massive amount of things, okay, like love of a dog, love of earth, love of a thing, love of a idea, but we're going to talk about you know individuals like the the interconnectivity of love, right? So when we are when we find someone that we believe that we love, we, it, it short circuits the body, it short circuits the brain. And we are, are, you know, the energy flows through us in a particular way for whatever it is that we need to learn at that particular time, okay? So, you know, you can get into the whole soulmate, twin flame, karmic partner, whatever thing. I feel that, especially because I was, I was like so adamant about um, believing or understanding one of those in some way, shape or form for quite a while. I, I no longer put labels and all that shit because it, I, I, I identify it through the energy, not through a label. I feel that identifying it through the label is um, it, 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 it puts it in a box and it makes it so that you may not be open to the learn lesson or the learning capacity of what is going on in the situation. For example, um, you know, if you are in a relationship, right, where, you know, it is shifted, right? Something big is happening and, you know, everything, you, you, you've gone through a phase, say you've been together for two years, right? Now you're going to this next phase where things just seem different. Don't know why you're both growing maybe you're growing apart right well if if say, things seem different love in that situation would be the capacity and ability to communicate what you feel because love is vulnerable love is still love is kind love is not non-judgmental love is okay what's going on and with no expectation. It's the expectation and the attachment, the attachment is the expectation that makes things all bad, right? So you sit down with your significant other, things are not working out, things are feeling kind of off or weird. Like what the hell is going on? What's wrong? I don't, I, I don't feel right, I feel off or heaven forbid, maybe like after hours and hours of, you know, conversation or maybe you know you spying on each other and you find out bam somebody cheated oh fuck now what okay well now how are you gonna do that? now how are you gonna deal with that are you gonna go after it like oh fuck you i'm gonna get you back and or are you gonna get divorced and cause a whole big divorce thing that's what that's what the systems are put in place to do to take your fucking money all right why would your significant other cheat clearly you are not giving your significant other something that they need. So they go elsewhere for it, all right? And then they, they get afraid to confront you. So, so 
So when you switch around how you look at things like this, I, I see this all the time. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about these specific kinds of things because I see this a lot. And I've, I've been in these situations myself and I've learned from experience to do it different, right? When, because look, if you're in a relationship and someone cheats on you, it fucking hurts. It's like a, it's, it's a fucking stab to your chest. It's a blast to your ego. But you know what? It happened for a reason, okay? Either A, you guys are not meant to be together. B, you're not giving her something that she needs. The communication, the energy flow is not fluid. There's, there's a block in the duct, okay, that you were ignoring or you were shutting down. You were trying to control it. So what is it about you? Are you trying to control the situation? Are you, are you, uh, I, do you have, normally it's some kind of codependent aspect of our own relationship to ourself. And of course we learned this from when we were younger that that leads us to these experiences, right? So, so you go to this thing now, what if, you know, like everybody that's ever been cheated on, right? Could you imagine if your significant other just came up to you and was like, you know, I, I, I should have saw this coming. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Or maybe, you know, like, I understand that I wasn't giving you what you needed. How can we make this work? Or, or how, what is it that you need from me? Or what can we do to communicate and understand and learn the lesson that needs to be learned? There's a, there's a lesson here, both ways that needs to be learned. And when you really love, when you really love someone, that is the place you go to. Like, okay, well, you know what? Now I have to make a decision, it, you know, it, 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 aside from the pain, put the pain to the side. Okay. Cause that pain is fear, doubt, insecurity, you know, like all the ego shit. All right. When you sit down with this. Okay. So is this right or not? Are we meant to be together or not? Are we having a fulfilling life? Is everything good? Or are we trapped? Are we, con are, are we in a contract? Are we stuck together because of some shit? And if we are stuck together, how can we do this in a, in an amicable way? I don't want drama, right? But who really does want drama? I don't think anybody really wants drama, but it comes to us a lot of times because we don't get out of our own fucking way. So you need to have the courage to love yourself enough to love the other. When we don't love ourselves, we, we can only love someone else to the degree that we love ourselves, right? So, so when we have a significant other come into our life, and we get serious with them. We, we, we build, begin building our lives with them, right? We are intertwined. And when we're intertwined, it pulls up and identifies all the aspects of our heart that are incongruent with that connection. So if things are coming up, it's stuff that you need to look at in your own heart. And if you got a lot of stuff that's deep, dark, and nasty in there, like, d don't project it. The fighting is the projection, guys. So real love is being able to sit down and look within and feel that vulnerability and feel that place within yourself. You're like, hmm, okay. Like, I have, I, I had one, you know, I think a lot of people have, like, the one that got away, Right. I had that a few years ago. And when she came into my life, I was, I guess, maybe not ready for her or my heart was, she cracked my heart open so much. I didn't know how to handle it. And it brought up all my insecurities and jealousies. And yeah, it doesn't matter how good looking you are, how big you are, how, how, how sexy you are, how big your dick is. It doesn't, none of that shit matters, okay? <laughs> it it doesn't fucking matter. The only thing that matters is can you trust each other? And there there's like having a certain level of mystery is fun, okay? But if but there has to be a trust, and the trust comes from the heart. If the heart is closed, there is no trust, okay? And the tr and the self trust comes from self love. So 
at that time when I was in that place, I did not trust myself. I did not really know myself. And it opened my heart so much that it drove me batshit crazy, actually. <laughs> and it took me years to learn, discover all these things in my mind that I'm bringing to you from learn lessons, from getting my heart broken. But I realized that she gave me a gift. She broke it open for me so that I can understand how to know and love myself more. And it really brings you out of this fear-based crap. When you understand the bigger picture, the cosmic picture, we're all here for a reason, guys. We're all, we all have a purpose. We're all processing energy. We are all learning different shit. And that's why I love astrology because we are able to see what kind of, basically the process of life is learning how to open up your heart after it has been decimated and shit on and demolished, you know, when you were younger and vulnerable and had no, like when we're young, we're, we don't know any better. We had nothing. We had all, we had our environment to teach us what we know. Right. So we didn't know any better. When we get up, when we grow older, it's, it's embedded into our subconscious mind. And when it's embedded into our subconscious mind, it acts out in our physical body. That's why my book, um, yeah, <laughs> decrypting the language of the human body is was my bringing all that together to understand how this all works it's all connected guys the heart is what guides us through life and the heart when we connect to a significant other when we have sex we have a sexual interaction with someone that we love that is what opens us up it is when we is when we start to deviate or, or when the pain gets too much or what, you know, when we're working through some personal, you know, internal darkness or stuff, you know, and we start, you know, going down and we all get, go down these places that are feel lost or, you know, feel painful go down and up, right. The more energetically in tune or sensitive you are, the more you're going to feel this kind of stuff. And I get it because I'm right there with you. All right. But when we acknowledge it and we step into it, with authority, then that vulnerability, because that authority going into that, 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 that's not easy. Being honest with ourselves, right? Saying, okay, like I'm the one that invited this into my life. I am the one that created this circumstance, this situation. I am the one that did this to myself. So uh, back to that situation with my, the, the one that got away, right? Over the years, you know, I had to see, you know, see her be with other people, see her be build a life. And that was very painful for me because I was the one that had a very difficult time detaching. So I had to learn to love her anyways. That's what real love is. When you just want someone to be happy with no expectations. When you can get to the place when you want someone to be happy and it doesn't matter what they're doing, that is when you have found true unconditional love. Because that is rising above all the ego shit, that is rising above all the personal drama, that is rising above all the egocentric shit that's going on in this world and realizing that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience and you guys taught each other some very deep beautiful powerful lessons and that love is what opened your heart and it exposed all the darkness that was sitting in there that needed to come out and we all have it and it's happening in a big way right now in the world right so all these attachments, and all the fear and all this hurt and heartache and heartbreak and all this crazy shit going on in the world, guys. It's all our hearts opening. So when they say love is the answer and you're like, eh, dude, all hairy fairy bullshit, really, 
Love is the vibration that is raising and purging out all this insecurity, all this fear, all this porn addiction, all this, oh my God, my dick's too small. Oh my God, my, 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 my labia is too big. Oh my God, my, you know, whatever the fuck, you know, my tits are too small. I'm too fat. I'm too big. I'm too short. I'm too whatever. I'm too something that's not perfect. Look, nobody's perfect. Okay. Accept and embrace who you are at the energy of the soul level, what, the more you love who you are. And you know what, look, when you're doing what you're really good at, when you love what you do, when you're feeling what you do, when you're in the middle of it, right? It's like you're working hard, but it's gratifying. You're like, yeah, time stands still, you don't give a fuck, right? You raise your vibration. That's when your heart is open to yourself. You're loving yourself when you're taking care of your physical and emotional body. When you do that, you invite in other people that are of like minds and of like circumstance, of like energy, right? And focusing on that place, if you stay focused on that place, everything else will align. It's, you know, this world that we live in, man, it's, it pulls us away from all, it, it, it pulls us in all these different directions all the time. And it makes, oh, I wonder what is going on over here. I wonder what's going on over here. This looks good. That looks good. You know, and yeah, a lot of shit looks good. And, you know, I live in Las Vegas, okay? I'm in, I'm, I'm in, the, I'm in the capital of that shit, okay? But shift your focus to what feels good. Instead of look, what looks good, right? What feels good? Because if you're going by this checklist in your mind, of okay well this is right this is right and this is th this will make my life better this is how things will get better this is how things will be better the, the, the shit's gonna fail and then you're looking at you know we we have at every single human being on earth we all have four survival archetypes all right the saboteur the victim the wounded child and the prostitute and somewhere somehow sometime in life one or all of these survival archetypes are going to come out and they're going to run the show, so to speak. And right now, a lot of people, we're seeing a lot of victims and we're seeing a lot of saboteurs. In fact, as I'm filming this, right, we're, going, we're, we're coming, up to, uh, coming up to October of 2020 and the energies that are percolating right now are fucking massive, right? So, Try to go within, all right? If you're in a situation within a, uh, if you're in a si situation ship or, or, you know, if you're in a dysfunctional relationship, which is also a situation ship, um, or if you're like clandestine, all sneaky about it and shit, or if you are just questioning, wondering, or if you just don't fucking know, communicate that. Communicate that without expectations to people that you love. And if they really love you, they will receive it. And remember to not expect anything. Like, okay, I'm going to put this out there because I have to, because that's what feels right. What feels right. Okay. Cause if I hold it in, it hurts. Urgh, I'm angry. I'm in my head all day. I'm going nuts. I get it out. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Good. Our bodies are always talking to us, always telling us what to do. We just, we as a species are fucking stubborn, right? So get it out with no expectation because it's that expectation and people can feel that. You know, if you ask a question and then you expect something and you're like, or even, even if you're not making a face, but you're just sitting there like, you know, still trying to show no emotion that that like trying to show no emotion is still you know the you know it's like a sonar bumping out that energy boom, boom, boom. You still feel it okay you have to be open like you know what my vision my purpose you have to tell yourself my purpose here is to create the greatest end result experience whatever for everyone Okay, whether it's to learn, if you want to be with somebody else, go be with somebody else. Yeah, I know, oof, that fucking hurts. But it's only hurting the ego. 
Because if it's meant to be, it's going to be effortless. You guys are going to be all over each other like fucking, you know, like white on rice. Like there's just, it's, it's, it's going to happen. Right. And a lot of times we try to force it because maybe we don't feel good enough or we don't feel worthy or we don't know if we're going to ever, you know, if we're lonely or we're not, we don't know if we're going to have someone. I mean, all these things come up. We have to face these feelings within ourselves. These are all expressions of lack within us. And all this kind of stuff is going on as we are ascending, as we are raising our vibration, we are opening our hearts. As we open our hearts, all this weird shit's coming up. And it's like, what do I do with all this stuff? Really, the, the trick is to just let yourself be you and stop fooling yourself. Stop trying to be something that you're not. Stop thinking that some kind of mold is going to make you feel better. Because when you mold, when you allow yourself to be your own mold, then the right things will just come to you. You don't have to seek for it. When you're always feeling, when you're always seeking, when you're always searching, that is when it gets, ah, that's when you push it away, man. That's with money, women, sex, whatever, everything, right? And then that's when addiction starts, right? You can't have it. So like, you know, I can't get this hot chick, so I'm just gonna go fucking jerk off some porn. Come on, dude. No. Stop. You want to find the right person for you. You want to be in love. You want to, you want to have a good, healthy, solid relationship. Allow yourself to learn the lessons, to open your heart, to be vulnerable, and to not attack, to not project, and to allow yourself to ascend and don't get lost in the whirlwind of the darkness. Let the darkness come out. Don't get stuck in it. Okay, I hope this video helped give you some clarity, give you some understanding of what love really means. Um, please comment below and let me know um, what this video brought up or brought out within you. And um, I will see you on the next report.